FC 25 is here, which means career mode is here. Career mode is back. Now, if we're going to do a FC 25 career mode series, it only feels right to use one team, and that's my team. Birmingham City. Across this series, we're going to be taking over Birmingham City and seeing how far we can take my beloved club. Now, here I come out to sign my Blues contract. I think that manager probably is a little bit better looking than I am. But I, I think he looks kind of similar to me. A little more facial hair than I've got. I've been quite generous with that, I'd say. Now, here is the Athletics social media post about me. Gene Guy Boussey is very unhappy that I've signed, but guess what? You can get stuffed, because I'm here to stay. And uh, Florentina Blank, uh, there's a laughing emoji, and then there's two smiling emojis. Is she happy? Is she taking the mick? Or is it a bloke? I don't know. So as we look on the first day of the season, we do have some things to do. We've got to review training plans. This is all, like, fairly new to me, I'd say. I, I, I have started some career modes but i haven't really played through properly now the next thing we have to do is set up a tactical preset i'm actually going to do this in my squad selector though because i want to move around some players change formation a bit and go from there so in terms of tactical preset what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go down to tiki taka that's what i want to play I don't want the 4-2-3-1. I want, where is it? The 4-2-1-3. It's basically the 4-2-3-1, except we have wingers instead of wide midfielders. It's just better for development of players. Short passing in the build-up start. Then defensive approach. I kind of want to go aggressive. I like the idea of aggressive defending. So we'll stick with that. So these are all the player roles done. I think this is all right, but... We'll see how it works. If we have to change stuff, we have to change stuff. It, it kind of is what it is. Now, as we look into the squad hub, we do have a lot of depth. A lot of players on loan and a lot of players loaned out as well. First things first, I want to do in this career mode is kind of shift around who I'm going to keep, who I'm going to get rid of. And we'll do that and I'll show you as and when I do. So first up on the chopping block, I think is going to be Lyndon Dykes. I mean, he is a great striker, but... Jay Stansfield's going to be ahead of him. Alfie May's going to be ahead of him. I might even bring in another striker. I just I don't see 28-year-old Lyndon Dykes getting the game time that he's probably going to want, especially considering he's on an important role as well. So he's first on the chopping block for me. So next up on the chopping block is Brandon Keeler. Now, he is a phenomenal young talent, both in-game and in real life. But at 57 rated, he's probably not going to get a lot of minutes so i'm gonna add him to the loan list hopefully a lower league team will come in for him and give him the minutes that he is gonna need to develop now josh home is gonna be the next player added to the loan list again at 53 rated he's just not gonna get anywhere near the amount of minutes that he's gonna want and need so again hopefully a team will come in for him where he will get their minutes it just won't be here. Alfie Chang is going to be my next player added to the loan list. I'm a big fan of Alfie Chang in real life. I mean, he is a friend of the channel, technically. He's appeared in a video once. Yeah, that's something. But he is also 63 rated in a very stacked midfield. He's just not going to get the minutes yet. He definitely will in this series. But for now, he's going to go on loan and hopefully progress a bit. We really are loaning out a lot of players. And the next player to be added is Josh Williams. Right back is just a position where we have so, so much depth that he's just not going to get any minutes. So he's going to go on loan, get some minutes and hopefully do something. And that is about it in terms of who I'm going to keep, who I'm going to get rid of. We do need to look at what positions we're going to bring in and hopefully sign some players, and I'll show you that when I do. Before I do that, though, I am going to go through and do all the development plans, which, again, I probably won't show you because it's quite boring, and I doubt you care, to be honest. Actually, here is something that I am going to include from the development plans because it's something I'm very confused about, and hopefully someone will know how to fix this. So I want Christian Bielik to be a centre-back. If I go down, I can choose one of these things, which I will. Ball playing centre-back, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that one. But how do I make centre-back his primary position? Because he's still primarily a CDM. How do I change that? Can I change that? Because it's not in position. So, or can I just not? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe you just can't. But if anyone knows, let me know, please. Now, in this career mode, I do want to take advantage of loans and free agents. Especially because we're in League One. And it is very hard to sign players in League One. Because... 
not a lot of time do they want to relocate back down to League One. So hopefully we can pick up some free agents. Hopefully we can pick up some loanees. And hopefully we can build a even better squad than what we already have. So while looking for free agents, I have just found out some absolutely devastating news. My favourite free agent to sign on FC25 was Samuel Gustafsson, who now, it would appear, has been taken out of the game. I can't find him anyway. I can see Simon Gustafsson, but he's no good to me. I want Samuel Gustafsson, and he's gone. And I had a Google, and he plays... In the Japanese league, which is not on FIFA or FC25. It's not on there, so I'm guessing he's been taken out the game. This is absolutely devastating for me. I love him, and now he's gone. So we're going to have to make do with someone else. So for this season, we do actually have a budget of £9 million. Now, this is a phenomenal budget for League One. However, given the squad we have, that budget is... It's going to be kind of hard to upgrade some of our positions just because getting players that next level above what we already have are going to cost a decent amount of money. So as we can see on my transfer list, I have identified all the players I'd be interested in that are either free agents or for loan. Starting first with Daniel Amati. I mean, he's just great centre-back depth, really. He's not going to start, to be honest. He doesn't get in the team. But he is very solid and for free, you can't really moan. Then if I butcher this, I'm sorry, we have Jacob Piotrowski. Again, he's just a really good, well-rounded central midfielder who I feel like CDM depth, he'll be decent. So he's one of them. Seems like a good player to sign to me. So now moving on to the loans. First things first, we have Alex Murphy, who is a great centre-half option who... I was using a lot on FC24, loaning in and then buying him afterwards. And if we can do that on this career mode, that'd be absolutely phenomenal. Because, again, he's young, he's a decent enough rate into where he'll get some minutes and develop. And he can turn into an absolutely great centre-back. And the same can be said for Dennis Seaman. Believe it or not, this guy is going to be my starting goalkeeper. Yes, he's going to play ahead of Allsop. Yes, he's going to play ahead of Bailey Peacock Farrell. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I haven't really done too much career mode. I have messed around a bit. And one of the players I messed around with was this guy. And he was absolutely incredible. So if we can sign him, that would just be phenomenal. And finally, we have Yusuf Chemiti. I mean, overall, I don't think his stats are especially great. I mean, 66 pace, 68 shooting, 69 dribbling, 70 physical. It's not great, but he's a tall physical striker, 71 rated. Hopefully, we can develop him a bit. I'm not going to look to buy him just because I don't really want him. See, Seaman and Murphy will both have buy options, which will probably get taken up on. But Chimiti, I just think, considering we have Alfie May and we have Jay Stansfield for the future, who will be absolutely key in this career mode going forward we don't need him but it'd be nice to have him for the depth and so it begins the first signing of the career mode is daniel amati he joins as a free agent now honestly taking a look at daniel amati we did sign him on a nine thousand pound a week wage which i don't think is too bad at all considering he's a 71 rated and he's only going to be here for a season really I know it's a two-year contract, but I just don't see him staying beyond this season. Maybe he does, but I would like to cash in on him at the end of this season, I think. Now, I didn't realise that I can actually just approach to buy Dennis Seaman. So that is exactly what I am going to do. We're going to offer 1.45 million. That's probably a bit much, and I'm guessing they'll bite my hand off for it, but... If you have the money to spend, I mean, why not? Now let's negotiate with him. And there we land. Dennis Seaman becomes Birmingham City's new number one. Joining from Stuttgart for 1.45 million. Now, we have probably overpaid for Dennis Seaman. I mean, we definitely have overpaid paying 1.45 million for him. It said we could have got him for 930,000. But in a few seasons time, that 1.45 million is going to seem like pennies. So... Over the sake of a few hundred thousand, I'm just happy he's at the club, so we take it. And now we have agreed terms with our first loan option, Alex Murphy. We've agreed to loan him for a year and hopefully at the end of that loan pay 1.4 million to sign him. Hopefully he agrees to the loan. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm hoping he does. I do want him to join. In terms of these two, Piotrowski and Chemiti, I think I'm going to wait a few days and kind of let things simmer a bit. 
until I saw in either one of them. We'll see what happens. Now, going back to the main page, it wanted me to hire some scouts. So that's exactly what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to sign this guy as our attacking scout. I mean, he's five stars. Well, this guy is just an expert at everything. I mean, five stars in every department. We will pick him up and we will probably have him. I mean, well... Where would you not want him? We'll have him in midfield for now. We can always move him about if we can't find decent enough scouts for defensive and goalkeeper. So now those are all our coaches done. We have two four-star coaches and two five-star coaches. I'm happy with that, to be honest. Hopefully this can help our team develop just that little bit better than they would without them. And now, after a few days of simulating, Alex Murphy has signed on loan from Newcastle United. He has taken the number 22, which we will have to change because that number's retired. But I'm more than happy to have Alex Murphy in the club. And I'll be even happier once we've changed his kit number. We've just received our first player offer of the career mode. Malmo want to sign... Alfie Chang on a loan to buy. I'm not willing to add in the buy option. We're just going to try and get them to agree to a loan without the buy option. Will they take it? They will. So, Alfie Chang hopefully will be joining Malmo where he can get some minutes. And just like that, our first young lad has left on loan. In terms of preseason, I think I'm actually going to skip over the preseason tournaments. That might be a bad idea and it might come back to bite me. I just don't think we need the extra money at the minute. And I'd rather just take the time to really build and strengthen the squad than have to worry about playing matches up until the season starts. And our second young lad has left on loan. Brandon Keeler is now off. We'll find out now where he's going. He's going to Piast. He's going somewhere. The point is, hopefully he's going to get some game time and hopefully he'll do all right. And our first transfer offer has come in. This is going to be a hard one to turn down, but I think I'm going to have to. I mean, is it, where is the team? Ood? I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that because it's just not going to end well. But they want us on Ethan Led for 3.7 million. It says we could get upwards of 4 million for him, which would... It would be phenomenal. I just don't want to let him go just yet. He's got such high potential that I know we could get more out of him in a few seasons time. And I think it's just going to be worth it to hold on to him. And again, I don't think in real life he'd be too arsed about joining them. I think he'd rather stay at Blues. So I don't think it's too unrealistic to reject that offer. We've received another transfer offer for a player. And it's for Keshi Anderson. Palermo have offered a million. Now, this is going to be tempting. It really is. He's just going to be depth at the minute. And I think for the sake of letting a depth player go, hopefully getting a million or maybe over a million if we negotiate it. Can I really afford to turn that down? I don't think I can. For the sake of the money we'd get, I think I kind of have to entertain this offer. And we have our deal. We have got them to agree to a £1.15 million pound deal. Is that just glitched i have no idea what's just happened but keshi anderson could be joining palermo this transfer window and for that money i'm really not upset about it josh williams has also left the club he joins alanya spore for 12 months on loan so again hopefully he does all right gets some minutes and boosts his potential develops well something or other so now keshi anderson will be leaving birmingham city which again as i said previously i'm not mad it's just confirmed now but it's good money at the end of the day and we have received two more offers torino want to sign jay stansfield for 2.95 million now when we could get 4.45 I don't think that we should sell him for that at all. And I also don't think we should sell him full stop in this career mode. At least not yet at all. He's got such a high potential that it just doesn't make any sense. And we've received another offer for Ethan Laird. This time a swap deal with Frederick. Again, not going to attempt to pronounce that last name. But it's just not worth it. We don't need him. We need Ethan Laird more than we need that aging centre midfielder. So... I'm happy with things as they stand. Now, Dion Sanderson has received his first offer from Real Oviedo. I honestly think I'm going to entertain this just because we do have quite a few central defenders in this team that 
I don't think Deion Sanderson is going to be a necessity. I do like him and I wouldn't mind keeping him. I just don't think we need him. And like that, they have agreed to a 1.45 million bid for Deion Sanderson. And the offers for Ethan Laird just don't stop. We have received a £3.5 million bid from Sassuolo for Ethan Laird. It's so hard to turn down and I'm sure that's probably a place that he might like to go, but... I just can't accept it. He's too important to let go. And now, Dion Sanderson has left Birmingham City. He will join Real Oviedo for £1.45 million. Again, I am going to miss Dion, but at the end of the day, that money is going to do so much more for us than Dion probably could, to be honest. And more offers just keep coming in. We have received a swap deal offer for Lee Buchanan, where... RC Deportivo are offering Lucas Perez and 720,000. Again, I just don't think it's worth it. Buchanan's not going to start for us, but he's good depth, so I'm going to reject it. We don't need Lucas Perez, at least I don't think we do. And we have received a transfer offer of 2.7 million for Pike Sung Ho. Again, going to reject it. Pike Sung Ho is going to be our starting CDM this season. He's not going anywhere. He is staying with Blues. And very quickly, we have arrived at our first game of the season. But unfortunately for you guys, that's where I'm going to end this video now. Now, we will be back tomorrow continuing this career mode series and you will see me actually play through some games. If you have enjoyed this video though, make sure to go down below, drop a like, drop a comment and let me know that you've enjoyed it and also subscribe i really want you guys to enjoy watching these videos as much as i enjoy making them so any bit of support on the channel is greatly appreciated whether it's liking the video commenting subscribing whatever it all goes a long way as i said though we will be back tomorrow playing our first game of this series can we win it <laughs>